ah, you probably got that question is how can you not be sore? So number one is that you need to warm up. Two, you need to gauge your first round of the workout to consider if you need to go harder or lighter. If you tweak something, you have to understand to step back, make sure that you stretch after the workout, make sure that you're eating right, drinking lots of fluids, and give yourself some shelf treatments. Now, when it comes to not being sore after your workouts, we have to understand that you need to warm up. And yes, you might be busy and you might be strolling in late to the class because you have just finished work, but I'm gonna tell you, doing a proper warm up is super important. You gotta think about a spaghetti strand. A spaghetti strand, when you first get out of the box, is stiff. And if you bend it wrong, what's gonna happen? It's gonna break. The same thing happens to your muscles. If your muscles aren't warmed up and you've been sitting all day and you go in there and you start jumping around, guess what's gonna happen? Those muscles are going to snap. Well, they're not gonna figuratively snap, but they're actually going to create more damage, which is gonna create more soreness. Number two is that you need to gauge your first round for what you can and cannot do right away. So you can always ramp up from there. Now you don't always have to lift the heaviest weights uh, when you do walking lunges or when you do squats right off the bat. Use that first round as part of the warm up where you can go extra hard on the either last half of the 30 seconds or you can go extra hard on the second round. When you are working out and you might have tweaked something, like let's say you're doing a chest press and all of a sudden you feel something into your shoulder. The key is that you don't keep going. Don't push through that, that is not normal. If you feel something, it doesn't feel right, you need to slow down immediately. Doesn't necessarily mean that you have to stop, but you definitely have to reduce the load or you have to reduce the speed. So if you were doing heavy squats and you're squatting 80 pounders, then what you need to do is, ah, you felt something in your quad or into your knee, maybe you go down to body weight, let it work itself out, then you can consider ramping back up, but do not continue with that same load. After we're done working out, I know you're super busy, you got kids things, you gotta get home to dinner, et cetera, et cetera, but you need to stretch after. At Fit Club, our stretches are three to five minutes max. Even that three to five minutes is perfect for what your body needs. You need to lengthen. You need to let your heart rate come down. You need to increase that pliability in that muscle so that it doesn't tighten up on you and you don't cause any further damage. So please, stick around to the end. And when it comes to your nutrition, we all know this that if you actually want to be a fine-tuned Ferrari, you have to put the proper fuel in you. So if after your workouts or prior to your workouts, you're eating McDonald's muffins or you're going to Tim Hortons and having a wrap or whatever it is, you know that's not the best food for your body. So you have to treat your body as if it was a Lamborghini and you need to put the right fuel in you and you need to lubricate, meaning you need to be drinking more water than you're drinking coffee. One to two liters isn't cutting it now. You need to get at least three to four liters of liquids, okay? Now, if you're mixing in protein shakes or EAAs, I'll count that as your liquids, but coffee does not count as a cup of water. So you need proper lubrication so that your body can be running smoothly. And the last but not least is that you need to start taking care of yourself because nobody's gonna do it for you, so you have to start giving yourself self-treatments. The simplest thing that you can do is have a hot bath at home. So if your body is sore, you get that hot bath, your body's going to sit in there and it's going to help circulate a lot of that broken down cellular tissue. It's gonna help you to recover fast, start booking massages and do a light stretch before you go to bed. So there we have it guys, you were wondering how you can not be so sore after a workout. You gotta warm up, you gotta gauge your first round. Do not push past the tweak, make sure you're stretching after, proper nutrition with fluids and do self treatments. Now, if you're looking to get started and you're in the Winnipeg area or you're a virtual member, maybe you're from a different country or a different city, then go to www.fitclub.fit, send us a message and we'll get you started today.